This week, Iran is prosecuting two journalists who reported on the death of Masa Amini, the young woman who died in police custody back in September. Her death sparked months of massive protests and calls for an end to Iran's hardline clerical regime. Iranian intelligence agents accuse the two female journalists of colluding with hostile powers, charges that could carry the death penalty. The first trial session for one of the journalists was held Monday in Tehran behind closed doors. The other journalist trial will start on Tuesday. While the protests in Iran have eased, authorities there are not giving an inch to anyone showing dissent. Human rights groups say the government has begun executing protesters once again. Salma Abdelaziz has the details. Outside a jail near Tehran, families of prisoners gathered chant, do not hang them. Their pleas come as Iran resumes the execution of protesters after a months-long hiatus. The brutal practice restarted this month with the hanging of three young men accused of killing three members of the security forces during anti-government protests in November. The news sparked more demonstrations. But activists and human rights groups say the allegations against the trio are baseless. Majid Kazemi was forced to watch video of interrogators torturing his brother. And he was subject to at least 15 mock executions, according to Amnesty International. In an audio note obtained by the organization, he maintained his innocence. CNN cannot independently verify the clip. They kept beating me and ordering me to say this weapon is mine, he says. I told them I would say whatever they wanted, just please leave my family alone. Before his execution, the family of 36-year-old Salem Mir Hashami, a karate coach from Esfahan, tried to draw attention to his plight. This picture of his father spread on social media. My son is innocent, the sign reads. But to no avail, activists shared this heartbreaking video they say is Mer Hashami's dad hugging his picture as he lay by his son's grave. Iran has not responded to CNN's request for comment. The total number of demonstrators known to have been executed since last year now stands at seven, according to CNN reporting. And more executions are likely imminent. <laughs> Over a hundred protesters have been sentenced to death or are facing charges punishable by death, says this human rights activist. When authorities fear protests or right after protests, number of executions go up. The aim is to create fear in the society to prevent more protests. Do you expect that the number of executions is going to rise even more this year? It is rising already unless the international community takes a strong move against these executions, we might be facing a very large number of executions in the coming months. Rights groups say that Mohammad Robatlou, a 22-year-old protester with a mental health issue, could be one of the next victims of Iran's execution machine. <laughs> Activists are ringing the alarm. They say yet another Iranian faces death just for daring to speak out. Sam Abdulaziz, CNN, London.